Okay, I think we're recording now. Once again, as always, I am at Mount Hope Cemetery here in Bangor, Maine. And I'm here because, while well, I live close by and I don't get out of the house very much. So here we are at the entrance, State Street entrance of Mount Hope Cemetery. And as we can see here, Incorporated 1834. So, and there's that. Private property, no dogs allowed. A lot of cars out here today. That's a good thing, and some pretty girls. That's even a better thing. All right, here up comes our Civil War monument that was uh, consecrated during the Civil War, the American Civil War, uh, 1864. Now, as I understand it, this is the only Civil War monument in the United States to have ever been consecrated while the Civil War was still being fought. And, here we are, and there are a few markers here, and um, and 35 years old, John Iyer. John Iyer died in Libby Prison, Richmond, Virginia in uh, 1863 he I saw a picture of that online and after the Civil War President Lincoln visited that prison and he was appalled at the conditions and as I understand it and please correct me if I'm wrong but it was President Lincoln that started prison reform all the way back then because of that. And John Iyer, Captain John Iyer rather, was 35 years old at the time of his death. So he died young to say the least. A lot of people did. Even people under the age of 18 that were fighting. Just like the Revolutionary War. Okay. Somebody parked right there, so I'm gonna come down this way. See, there are some very nice old monuments here. Uh, this dates back to 1870, 1879. That one there. Um, a very old family plot. However, the markers have clearly been replaced from the old, from the original ones. Uh, you know, there's a couple of things I want to find here also. Yeah, we're in the area now where Stephen King's movie Pet Cemetery was filmed. Um, and there it is right there. I believe. So it was right in this area is where the uh, uh, the funeral took place that Stephen King presided over in the movie Pet Cemetery, and that was the 1989 movie. Um, now Carrie is here somewhere, and. I don't really recall where it is, but Carrie was the, the Carrie, uh, the inspiration, no, that's not it there, the inspiration for 
the, the book carry. You know, I'm going to do a couple of videos today and work my way up to the trade winds variety. Here it is, right here. Here's Carrie. This was the inspiration for the book, Carrie. And she died in 1856 at the age of 21. Um, she was married to Frank S. Hesseltine. And, um, that's that. There is another monument here somewhere in this area with the name Georgie on it, which was a baby, a two-year-old that died back in the 1800s. And that was the inspiration for a, another Stephen King book, which I don't recall now. Um, no, that isn't it there, as I thought it was. Okay, so what we're going to do is, I don't know if anybody can see it or not, but up on that hill is a tomb. It is the first mayor of Bangor, and there's somebody up in there now. Um, some of the video angles that we used in that movie were also taken from that hill in 1989. Um, let's shoot over this way for a minute. And go down to the Hannibal Hamlin tomb, which is President Lincoln's first vice president. What a beautiful day. About 65 degrees, low humidity, very gentle breeze, low dew point. It's just a wonderful day to get out of the house. Even if I didn't have a video to do, it's still a wonderful day to get out of the house. Some very old headstones there. Now I'm actually coming up on another uh, video angle from the movie Pet Cemetery, and I just learned about this this morning, and I never knew it. So I'd like to share it real quick. Okay, the video shot was right in here. Let's see if I can get up there. Oh, okay. The video shot was right up in here. It was just about like this, the 18, the 69 rather, the 69 and the flower. And off to the right were, were two locations from the movie Pet Cemetery. Um, and I think it's that white one up there. It should say Tibbetts on it, I believe. Now right here is the Hannibal Hamlin family plot. Now that, ah, that is actually seen in the very background of the movie um, from the top of that hill. So here is Vice President Hamlin right here. And it looks like 18, whoops, 1891. And somebody has left a couple of rocks and some coins there. Um, so this is the, the plot, the family plot. And more family plots here. 
that are very, very old. It's against my better judgment. Whoops. But I'm going to go up this way. I need the exercise, but my balance is off due to some recent dizziness. So I'm approaching the top of the big hill now. Whoa, hang on. Almost lost it. Holy cow. Okay. Let's go down here for a second. It was right in this area that another part of a scene was filmed. And I can't remember where it was, but I know that in the background, you could clearly see the Hannibal Hamlin tomb. Um, it was a different angle that I'm at now because of that tree. Whoa, I'll go back up. Okay. Fortunately, they've got nice paved roads here. Whew. And my next stop will be the angel with the broken wings. Ooh. No leaves starting to turn yet, but they will be in another few weeks. Okay, here we are at another family plot here. Um, the steps look like marble. <laughs> 